Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm back with another travel video and this time we will be traveling to Darjeeling, which is popularly known as the Queen of the Hills. In this video, you will get to see what all we did in our 3 days trip to Darjeeling. I will take you all along with me to all the places I have been and trust me, you won't regret it. The experience was great and we had a wonderful time. So without further ado, let's start our video. A warm welcome to my Darjeeling vlog. The first place after reaching Darjeeling where we are going is Mal Road, which is very near to our hotel. We must 10 to 15 minutes walk. So we thought let's not waste our time and go and visit the famous Mal Road. Here in Mal Road, there are some old and heritage stores lined up on one side. This place is pretty iconic. You see? Lots and lots of people are just sitting here and enjoying their hot cup of tea or coffee. There are many cafes and restaurants in Malro. If you want, you can try them. Every place is somewhat or the other has something special to serve. So while going to Mal Road, we found a really cute cafe and now we will be exploring it. This was the cafe I was talking about. It looked really tempting so I thought of getting into it and try some Darjeeling tea. And thank god I was here because the view from the cafe was amazing. The name of the cafe is Silver Fire. Here we have ordered some tea and some cookies. Let's see how they turn out to be. And this cafe has a very wonderful view. So you can see the mountains from the cafe. And this is a really unique place. So let's try the tea and I'll let you all know how it is. Here is our hot cup of tea with some delicious cookies. So if you are in Darjeeling and you are planning to come to Mal Road, you can definitely try out this cafe. We had our dinner in the hotel because there were little kids with us who were feeling really cold. Day 2 in Darjeeling started on a good note with some delicious tea, croissant and sandwich. We had everything planned for today. So after having our breakfast, we quickly headed out and went to our first destination which was Shimana. Here our journey started and we all are super excited for today. The journey just started and look, she fell asleep. I have been to mountains before, I have been to Manali, I have been to Kashmir but Darjeeling is like a nostalgia. You grow up hearing about Darjeeling so much that there is an urge to go there and visit all the places you have been reading, you have been hearing about. So yes, finally it's my turn to explore Darjeeling and I am having a great time with my family. After a long journey, we finally reached Shimana, our first destination. We were on the cloud 9. This place is a famous touristic spot where you will get some delicious momos and there are some stalls from where you can do some shopping. 
but the momos here were so tasty so if you go to shimana don't forget to try the momos chalo okhane ekta tomar chobi tule debo bau bau dekhi to bau ta ki cute na hat chalbe na hat chalbe na the view from the place is amazing Here you can see the clouds, and now we are going to have some momos. So, we had a wonderful experience here in Shimana. The place is very, very cold, and it's very beautiful. Yes, it's totally covered in clouds, and the food here is amazing. You must try the momo. I forgot to click any pictures or take any videos because we actually, after ordering when the food arrived, we ate it all. So I forgot to take any clips. Nikki, did you like the momos? Yes. I'm going to try the momo again. The drive from Shimana to Mirik was wonderful. The wonderful scenic drive through tea gardens on the hill slopes and we also got to see some famous tea estate. So, overall the journey was great. After a long 2 hours journey, we finally reached Mirik. Now it's time to head inside. So right now we are here in Mirik. Um, it's basically a lake. Let's see how it is. So we have finally reached our destination, Mirik Lake. Basically this place is a huge park along with a lake where you can just sit and relax and have a good time. So this place is great, you can just carry some food along with you, enjoy the view and have some wonderful time with your friends and family. You can even can go for boating. So done for the day, now it's time to head towards our hotel. As our hotel is 10 minutes walk from the Mal Road, so we decided to go and check out what was going on in the Mal Road. Thank God we came because there was a concert going on and there were music playing, everyone standing and enjoying the music. It was wonderful. After enjoying the concert, we headed towards our hotel. Next day, we had planned to go to Tiger Hill to watch the beautiful Kanchonjunga but unfortunately we couldn't make it so now we are heading we are towards to a very interesting place Hermitage Resort as the view of Kanchonjunga uh, is uh, visible from here as you all can see for that reason we are having our lunch here not lunch breakfast mm -hmm. This place was recommended to us by the hotel staff because we wanted to see the Kanchonjunga so they recommended us to go to Hermitage Resort. The Hermitage Resort is a very beautiful resort from where you get a spectacular view of the Kanchonjunga. This is the perfect place where you can just sit and enjoy your hot cup of tea and coffee and you can see the spectacular view of the Kanchanjonga. Trust me, last two days what I have seen is nothing as compared to this. This was by far the best experience I have had in Darjeeling. So with the view, we had some wonderful food. Oh, 
After having our breakfast, we are heading towards our next destination. Now it's time to go and enjoy the Darjeeling Ropeway. This place is very famous and there is a long queue so you have to wait for quite a long time for your turn to come. After waiting for quite a while, finally our turn came. So now let's go and explore some wonderful view. Look how beautiful it looks from the ropeway. You can see the mountain, you can see all the greeneries, you feel so close to nature. After our ropeway, it's now time for another ride. So, it is time for the toy train ride. We are going to enjoy our toy train journey and I will definitely take you all along with me as always. Toy train rides operate from Darjeeling railway station. It's roughly around 2 hours road trip from Darjeeling to Ghum. Once we reach Ghum, they will give a 5 to 10 minutes stop to enjoy the scenic beauty or enjoy the view of Ghum. And after that, the train will again take us back to Darjeeling. So the whole day went on traveling and we did not get time to eat anything so here I am enjoying my donut inside the toy train with the joy ride some wonderful donut how crazy is the combination I am totally enjoying my vacation so I hope you guys are enjoying too along with me. So now we have reached the Ghum station. It's time to just get down and enjoy the scenic beauty of Ghum. So now it's time to get back and enjoy our ride to Darjeeling station. And our three days trip to Darjeeling came to an end with wonderful dinner at Glenary's. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you all liked it. And if you did so, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.